Well, um, you know, the, the, the medical thinking on cardiovascular disease, particularly plugged arteries, arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis is caused by elevated blood cholesterol, not enough for the HDL, not enough for the high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol, um, that uh, people eat too much fat and all that kind of stuff. Well, um, here comes a case. Of course, I have to tell you that in 1971, I wrote a paper that was published in the International um, uh, Pathology Journal out of Denmark, Active Pathologica, was actually translated into six language, went around the world, and I actually compared out of the 20,000 autopsies I did, I compared the um, uh, amount of plugged arteries in vegetarians and vegans versus meat eaters. Guess who had the worst plugged arteries? It was vegetarians and vegans because they eat all these stored grains in which the oils and the grains, the oils and the grains oxidize, turn into trans fatty acids, heterocyclamines, and acrylamides, causing inflammation of lining arteries and plug them up. And so people who eat boiled potatoes and roast meats are going to have far less inflammation of blood vessels than those eating grains that have the oils in them have already started to oxidize. And then you add insult to injury and stir fry organic vegetables with extra, extra, extra virgin olive oil, kind of like Steve Jobs and Diet 56. Okay. Well, the reason why this came up, there's an article in USA Today that says, uh, the curse of the mummy, hardening of the arteries. A new study suggests that hardening of the arteries is an old problem, really old. Researchers have found clogged arteries and what's left of arteries in mummies from nearly 4,000 years ago. The findings from humans who lived before the invention of the Twinkies and Curly Fries are leading doctors to reconsider their notions about the cause of heart disease. Well, they wouldn't read my paper from 1971, but they believe in the mummies. Okay. Um, what they say is uh, nearly 4.6 million Americans have arterial sclerosis, atherosclerosis, the leading cause of death in the developed world. And it says here that there is an article... Um, that uh, came out in Lancet, the British Medical Journal, more than one-third of 137 mummies, about 44, 45 mummies, sent through a CAT scanner, had calcification of their arteries. Okay? And uh, the mummies came from Egypt, Peru, southwestern United States, and the Aleutian Islands. And uh, they're sort of swirling around. They say, well, maybe it's, maybe it's genetic. Well, they've been saying it's genetic forever. They're still looking for the genes that are going to fix things. Well, basically... Uh, there are three different basic types of, of um, heart disease. Uh, the clogging of arteries, the scarring of arteries, has to do, with, as we've said, with inflammation lining the arteries. Fried foods, processed meats, oils, even uh, uh, things like um, gluten uh, intolerance will inflame those arteries, cause the arteries to respond and, and block themselves. Then there's cardiomyopathy heart disease. I've done 1,700 autopsies on kids under the age of 10 that died of cardiomyopathy heart disease, wrote a paper on that one. It's in two Chinese dialects as well as um, in American uh, scientific journals here, 1971. Um, and I tell you, uh, it's a selenium deficiency. It's a simple selenium deficiency. And then there's congestive heart failure, uh, which is the most common cause of heart death in America and other industrialized nations. And it was actually discovered in the 1700s by a Japanese naval surgeon that congestive heart failure is caused by, you got it, a deficiency of a single vitamin, and um, I've had people have their cardiologist take them off of their um, medicine that they've been on for 3, 5, 8, 10, 12 years on the heart transplant list for 3 years. And one week's time on these nutritional programs, the doctors take them off of 27 prescription drugs, take them off of um, the heart transplant list because the heart has the capacity to heal itself given raw materials. And so um, myself, I haven't been to a doctor in 65 years. Um, I, I'm not stupid, so I do my own physicals. Uh, you get those, that information uh, from the uh, trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, the Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with coronary artery disease. Learn how to deal with congestive heart failure. Learn how to deal with uh, the cardiomyopathy heart disease. These are all very simple nutritional deficiency problems. Uh, they're preventable and reversible, but uh, doing a uh, bypasses and stents might give you temporary relief, but certainly is not going to resolve the problem. You have to change your lifestyle, change your diet, supplement properly, all 90 essential nutrients, and um, also uh, do, do what you have to do to give everything your heart needs to maintain and repair itself. You'll be amazed what your heart can do given the nutrients. The trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases, including cardiomyopathy, heart disease, congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease, uh, aneurysms, 
you'll be amazed what you can do um, simply with changing your lifestyle, changing your diet, and adding the 90 essential nutrients to your health program and supplementing extra with these nutrients. Again, get a hold of that trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, The Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases, and including the cardiovascular diseases, using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. The trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and The Passport to Aromatherapy. And I'm going to throw in, too, the omega-3 essential fatty acids. Uh, they, in deficiency, uh, in a ratio disruption between omega-3, 6s, and 9s, uh, will encourage... Um, thrombosis, coronary thrombosis, and the thrombotic stroke. So it's imperative that you take all 90 essential nutrients, including this one vitamin, selenium, and um, all kinds of nifty stuff to support everything, including copper. You got it, all 90. We'll be back with more truth, justice, and the longevity way.